G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Today we're having a look at a barbed wire trolley that was given to me a couple of weeks ago as a prototype by Steve Casamento, the man behind Trigger Engineering. Now it's not very often that a manufacturer will give a YouTuber a prototype. Things could get messy. But instead, what we've been able to do is work together on designing out some flaws that I found in the initial prototype and turning it into what I believe in this production model is something that solves a lot of problems for farmers and contractors alike. I'm really proud of working with Steve and I hope you like this product nearly as much as I do. Looking at the prototype trolley, the first thing I made comment on was the handle. It looks good and it's nice and light, but because it's not able to be bent, it actually means that the payload is always off balance while you're pulling it along. And that means that the handle keeps kicking up and trying to buck you off as you're rolling out the wire. So it needed to be able to be adjusted depending on the height of the person that was pulling the wire. So with the improved production model, we've got a steel plate handle, which is heavier, but it allows for a central pivot point, meaning that shipping costs are down because it's a smaller package, and you can adjust it depending on the height of the operator that's using it. Having the adjustable arm on the new model means that your point of balance, no matter your height, can always be over the axle and it doesn't have the same habit of tipping over. It's a lot easier to use. The next thing I noticed with the prototype was the mounting system for the wire spool. One of the things that concerned me with the early prototype was it was a little bit clunky and there was a little bit too much stuff that can easily be lost in the paddock. Mounting the barbed wire was just a bit awkward and took a bit more time than it should for a machine that's supposed to be making your job a bit easier for you. And I thought the average punter might become a little bit frustrated with all the bits and pieces. So Steve came up with a great solution for that. The new axle mounting means it's easy to put your wire spool on and take it off without breaking your back. I also thought it would be great if we could somehow work out a way to hook this on the back of a vehicle rather than having to walk every paddock every time. You've also got this tow ball attachment, meaning that it's easy to attach and detach from the back of your vehicle so that you don't have to run out all your wires by hand. The strong solid steel arms mean that towing out your barbed wire is no drama at all. And the handle's pretty strong. The only thing I will point out is that the cheaper model does come with small wheels. If you're going to tow this behind a vehicle or use it over rough paddocks, you probably want to spend the extra money and get the larger pneumatic tyres. So with all the learnings from the prototype, we've got a really good final product that's going to market this week. And I'm really excited to see what this does for people to make their use of barbed wire easier, safer and faster. And don't forget guys, if you like this video, hit the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and there's plenty more content on timthompson.ag. And it's pretty strong. The first thing I commented on with the demo model was the handle. Although it's nice and light and it looks good, the handle itself needed to be bent because as you walk along with it, the phone goes off. 